Hi students, as a part of application of nanomaterials, today I am going to discuss about biomimicry. Biomimicry is the word derived from two Greek words, that is bio, which means life, while mimicry means to copy. So based upon these two words, we can say that biomimicry is the practice of making technological and industrial design by copying the natural process. The idea behind biomimicry is that nature has already solved the challenges that we are trying to solve. The implications of nanotechnology in the trend of biomimicry is called as nanobiomimicry. Organisms use a variety of materials for different functions that inspire nanotechnology engineers to mimic nature some of them are as follows. Coming to the first one, self-cleaning. The leaves of the lotus flower has very high water repellents, which keep it always clean. This property of lotus surfaces was studied and mimicked by nano engineers to design self-cleaning surfaces that keep themselves dry and clean. Accordingly, nano-titanium dioxide is used for this purpose. Next, water collecting. The stenocara beetle can gather water. Actually, it lives in very hot desert areas. Even though it lives in hot desert area, this beetle can gather water. This fact fascinated the researchers. Accordingly, this property was studied and mimicked by researchers. In this context, stenocaras covering shell nanomaterials are designed. So coming to the next one, adhesives. Geckos are able to climb walls due to forces created by hundred of thousand hairs on the surface of their toes. With each hair having tiny nano pillars, this property of geckos was studied and mimicked by nano engineers to design dry adhesives. Accordingly, multi walled carbon nanotubes are used for this purpose. Not only this, climbing pads capable of supporting human weight are a mimic of the biomechanics of gecko feet. So coming to the aerodynamics, the aerodynamics of the famous Japanese bullet was inspired by the shape of a bird's beak. And moving to the next one, aircraft. The first flying machine heavier than the air from the Wright brothers in 1903 was inspired by flying pigeon. So coming to the last one, architecture. Architecture is inspired by termite mounts, termite mounts to design passive cooling structures. So this is about biomimicry. I hope 
you have understood it thank you for watching this video